Hello Pisces. By the time you get this message it'll be very, very late for me. But I decided to do this anyway. I'm going to be doing a love reading for you tonight. Um, love as in um, just a general love reading from spirit, okay? Like I know exactly what cards I'm going to use, so I'm going to use a good tarot and then I'm going to use uh, this one I think is a spirit song to clarify this love journey that we're going on. I figured it'd be fitting to end the week with a little bit of love in it for you. Okay, so this one. We have the Five of Air. Look at that, so beautiful. Alright, let's see what else we have here. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel and being an awfully big support. You guys are growing this channel exponentially from week to week and I really want to thank you very, very much. This is a this is going to be a spirit, a Pisces family, a spirit place, a safe space for you all the time, anytime you want to come. So this could be for love in your life, this could be for just self-love, it could just be love from spirit. We have the page of fire. So beautiful. Mm -hmm, that. I feel like I should take out at least five cards for these. We're just going to keep shuffling and letting the cards fall until I feel they're done. I've been told by my spirits, I cannot control this. I'm a control freak, you guys. You probably didn't know this, but I am. I feel like I gotta control every situation and they caught me off guard this week. You have the Ten of Fire. Oh, ooh. All these pieces of paper and on fire. Mm hmm. So, yeah. They're making it crystal clear that they are very much guiding this boat and. I'm supposed to just follow. Here's a Four of Air, which is a Four of Swords. One more, please, Spirit, one more. These are quite challenging to shuffle. <laughs> okay, that one, okay. And the Seven of Earth. Mm -hmm. Beautiful cards. Beautiful cards. And underneath the deck, we have the Hermit. Very nice. I feel that the Four of Air and the Hermit are very much interconnected here. Okay. Okay. Spirit. Please clarify the Five of Air for me. Clarification for the Five of Air, please. Okay. The Six of Crystals, Synergy and Gratitude. All right. I will be doing this reading intuitively tonight. So just going by what spirit, what the cards are telling me, how I feel about them. You have the five of air. So if we're focusing on love right now, you're feeling light as a feather. And that's pretty much the way I feel. Even though you're the bigger bird. 
Even though they're smaller birds and they're probably more maneuverable than you, you feel very light, very um, above it all. Okay? Very beautiful card. The Six of Crystals talks about a synergy and gratitude, and that is what I feel. I feel that there's a give and take here, definitely, on your part. You're finally realizing that you don't need to just give. You can take two. And this is how you're ending up being up here in the clouds, flying, because you've finally taken what's yours. I feel from these cards that there's something that wasn't here before. I feel that you had sacrificed a lot by giving way too much of yourself, Pisces. But now things are balancing themselves out. I just can't get over the beauty of this card and how light it feels. Beautiful. The Five of Air with Synergy. Beautiful. Beautiful. We have the Page of Fire here. Can I have a clarifier for the Page of Fire? Okay. We have the King of Acorns clarifying the Page of Fire. So beautiful. It almost looks outerworldly. This young, young soul just out there in the cosmos with beautiful, fresh new ideas, impulsive, fearless, gorgeous. I really love this card. I love the colors of it. And if you look, this King of Acorns just has just as many colors as this beautiful Page of Fire. These are both fire cards, by the way. They're both wands. The King of Acorns are the wands. So, I sense in love for these cards, especially, look at the bottom, I just noticed there's a tiger there, look, and he's just like glowing in the background there. I feel that that's the tiger coming out of you. You may be the newbie, okay, when it comes to this, these new feelings, this new way of thinking about love, but it's definitely not the last feelings you're going to have. There's a lot of optimism, and there's a lot of you coming out of your shell and trying different things in love, seeing loves with fresh eyes, in this case from a fresh planet. So I feel that it's very new for you. Maybe you're just thinking outside the box when it comes to love. And it's really feeling good for you. Look at those bright colors. That's all I can see is these bright, beautiful colors. Like you're just bursting into color. People are finally seeing you. People are finally seeing just how marvelous you can become, the transformation that can happen when you really, really take the time to, I don't know, fully bloom inside of your love for yourself, for others. This could even be a very new relationship that brings out all your very best colors, Pisces. I love that. I really like that. Okay. So we have another fire card here, the Ten of Fire. 
Can I have a clarifier for the Ten of Fire, please? <laughs> we have the King of Crystals. Wow. Courage and commitment. Yeah, I get that. These are coming in really clear. When I saw this picture of this lady burning all of these, these are... <sighs> I want to say these are like love letters that have failed or, or relationships of your past, your burdens, your burden relationship, your failures. This is your way of restarting of recommitting, of having the courage and the commitment to start over again. Okay? It's okay. We can just burn those bridges and just get rid of them. We can start over again. There's no need to stay in, um, to stay in our failures or to, to, just stay sitting in the failure of love and, and of past love, you know, love that, I don't know, that hurt, that, that burnt us with the fire, that was too hot, not hot enough, that didn't help, or people who didn't understand us. And this is like starting, this is really starting fresh. You see her burning everything here. So she's definitely decided that she's not taking any of this with her. All of the guilt, all of these patterns, she's not taking that burden with her. She's committing and courageous and going to just go ahead and move on. This is not gender related, by the way. This could be for anybody, okay? All right. We have the Four of Air here. Can I have a clarifier for the Four of Air, please? Clarifier for the Four of Air. Thank you. Clarifier. We have the Four of Crystals. So two fours, Four of Air and the Four of Crystals. Control and security. Pardon me for the pause. I just had to get rid of the, the intense noise. <laughs> ah. All right. So we have the Four of Air and the Four of Crystals. Both of these figures here, they look to me like, like, the water for me, and as for Pisces, I don't know for you, is, is such a source of quiet. And when I look at her, she's very quiet as well. I'm thinking that they are both really taking the time to rest and to protect um, themselves, their boundaries, they're taking care of securities. Yeah, it's, it's very peaceful here. So, definitely some of us are taking a break, taking a rest taking back control of our lives and our situation, restoring security. Maybe maybe there's been relationships where we didn't exactly feel well and secure in them and now we're 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 getting the chance to just be well here, taking care of ourselves. 
Can I get a clarifier for the Seven of Earth, please? The Seven of Earth. So the Seven of Earth is really looking back on things, but it's it's assessing the situation. If you see, he's kind of checking things out, seeing how things are going, what's happening here. And this one you have the world fulfillment, celebration, but the world is also about learning the lessons from the phase that we've just been in and putting it into the current phase, okay? And moving on and realizing that we are enough, that we have enough, we are enough. This is a completion of sorts, okay? And it's a joyous time for us. The world is the end of a cycle. It's the last of the major arcana, okay? So we have done the work we have assessed all the situations. We're bringing all that knowledge with us in the next cycle. And that will be of great help to us. Great, great help to us. Okay. I'm going to get a clarify for the hermit now. the five of crystals. <laughs> mm, persistence and new possibilities. Okay, so this is usually the five of pentacles and it has to do with a little bit of isolation. Okay, but so is the hermit. So right now what we're doing is isolating, okay? We're isolating ourselves, checking out the new possibilities, see how we're going to persist further into our lives of love and looking into it and all. Um, going inside, figuring out maybe what we need to fix within inside of us before we can offer anybody anything because you never know, right? You never know. We're always not us, but world when we're in relationships, we're always looking at the other person and what went wrong. But sometimes we have to look deep inside of ourselves. And if we do blame ourselves, then we have to try to figure out how not to do that again or what we need to fix inside of ourselves to be a better partner, a better friend, okay? So I think this has to do with that. And you have the transformation card underneath here to continue, which is what will happen, and the intuition card that follows right after. So this is a really good reading. It is about healing. I, I can see that now. It's for somebody who really needs to heal and go inside themselves and to really get control over their lives so that they can be a better partner, be a better friend, be a better, better person just for themselves so that they can give more and be more. I'm going to pull... Let me see here. I'm going to grab from this deck. It's Work Your Light and um, there's two decks mixed in, but I'm only taking half of it. I'm going to see if uh, the Spirit can give us something here.
perspective. Isn't that beautiful? Perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. So it's pretty much what the Hermit card is saying. Time for you to get perspective on the matter and get a better vantage point. Go inside, take the time, and learn from yourself. I'm going to pull another one here for you from this one. Let's see what we can get. This one wanted to come out. It's saying the same thing. Stand still. See that? So, it's time for rest, Pisces. It's time to go inside and figure out what's going on with you, what you can learn from this. So, absolutely. Take time for you. You're at the end with the world here. You're definitely getting a vantage point, a view of things, and it's time for you to regroup, to look inside, to take care of you. I really hope that this Pisces message has helped you and that it resonates with you. Um, All I feel from this is that the biggest message I'm getting from here is just you need to take time to go take care of you. Heal and mend what is inside of you. I hope that you are having a beautiful day and that you have a beautiful day tomorrow. I will be back tomorrow or later today depending on when this video goes up and uh, to give you more message from Spirit. Thank you so much for coming around, and I will see you very, very soon. Lots of love, lots of light.